Hello and welcome to Faith Media Show. I am your host, Danny Terry. Thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, today we are joined by our uh, very special guest, uh, Anthony Vorndran. Uh, Anthony, how are you doing today? Hey guys, how's it going? I'm doing well. It's a, it's a beautiful Sunday today. Nice and warm outside. Yeah, so, uh, so Anthony um, is a uh, church musician um, and he's also a videographer. A uh, good good friend of mine. Um, we actually we we also work together um, as uh, videographers and digital court reporters for a court reporting firm. Uh, so, uh, Anthony, um, just uh, kind of tell tell us uh, tell the viewers about uh, your background and how long you've been a, a musician and a videographer. Sure. Yeah. Um, gosh, I'm 36 now, and I started performing music when I was 15 years old. I started learning how to play the bass guitar and learning how to play just standard electric guitar as well. Um, and that just took me through a long journey of multiple bands, uh, playing venues, playing clubs, bars, you name it, I've probably done it um, in different states, traveling, those types of things. Um, and I'd say probably around my early, maybe mid-20s, I started getting connected playing at churches um, and then we could dive into that a little bit uh, later in the podcast, but that's kind of how uh, the Lord ultimately, uh, how he brought me to him was through music. So that's a pretty cool story. Um, as far as video, I went to a, a technical school in Ohio called Ohio Center for Broadcasting right out of high school. So I started, you know, learning video production, audio production at that age and um, started doing it professionally. Uh, it's been about four, four years now full time. So. That's great. So, um, at what point in your life did you know that you, um, that you wanted to go into music and to videography? Music is one of those things I think I've always known and I've always chased it. Um, and at some point, um, I had to just kind of ask myself, you know, at w what capacity do I want to keep chasing music? It's a part-time thing for me right now. And that seems to fit into my life really well. Um, and that'll never go away, uh, the music part of it, even the video. But video came a little bit later in life. Um, like I said, I did go to that trade school, but I wasn't sure ultimately what I wanted to do with that. Was it going to be behind the scenes as a, a radio host? Was it going to be on air? Uh, something I thought about was going on TV as an anchor or a, a news reporter. So um, recently, though, I started getting more of a passion for video over the past couple of years. I have vid videotaped a couple of weddings. I also got into photography. Um, I'm still learning editing. Dan, you can probably relate to that. Editing is uh, it's an animal of its own to learn. So, um, but yeah, music is is probably a stronger suit of my passions. Performing uh, the bass guitar is uh, something near and dear to me. So, so uh, what uh, what influenced you wanted to to become a musician? What influenced me? It's a good question. Um, probably just the bands that I was listening to, honestly. Uh, at that time, I remember it was Green Day, Nirvana, Metallica, Led Zeppelin. Those were like my strongest influences. And then I had friends as well that, that picked up the guitar around the same age. So when you're kind of, you're in that young, like rebellion, teenage years, like I don't want to play sports anymore. I don't want to play soccer. I want to, I want to do something different and a little bit out there. So I think it was a combination of just the bands and my friends. Next thing you know, the rest is history. So, um, but you know what? Let me let me back up on one thing too. So, when I was in high school, I performed at this thing called Spice. Like you know, spices and spices. That's what they called it. It was a talent show, and that's when I knew ultimately when my bands would get we'd audition, we got accepted in, we'd be backstage, and the curtains would open, and all the people and it gave you a rush like you just can't it's really indescribable uh, that that moment is when I knew that I, I have to do this so that's yeah. that's wonderful yeah so I, I know you're very very much involved uh, with your with your church um, as uh, as a musician on your church band uh, how long have you been doing that for your church for my current church which is Fairfax Community Church in Northern Virginia I play bass uh, two to three weekends a month. I've been there for over two years now um, as a bass player. Okay. Yeah, so 
uh, I, I definitely uh, can can relate to the have the appreciation for music because um, when I was in high school, I was in I was in band and, and marching band. Unfortunately, I haven't continued on um, uh, playing instruments, but I certainly would love to get back into it. And uh, it's just it's wonderful. And, and you know, in music and um, movies, you know, they they touch everybody. You know, no no matter what what walk of life you are like we all kind of have a connection to it in some way or, or another that's a good point that you bring up i mean whether it's music video uh art uh anything creative just can it can tie in on so many different elements for people it's a good point so uh anthony when uh when did you become a believer uh in jesus and uh just tell the view- viewers about your testimony yeah so I grew, I didn't grow up in the church. Okay. Um, I have a somewhat of a common, I think, story to a lot of people, but, um, I grew up knowing Jesus on a surface level, uh, who Jesus was. I learned how to pray. Um, I'd say from a young age, I just, I did feel a connection to the Lord. Um, but it was probably, it was 27 years of age. I decided to maybe 20, no, 27 now, I'd have been 28 at that time. I decided to get baptized at my church in Cincinnati, Ohio, and fully go all in, right? Like, I had felt a calling towards it a few years prior to um, going to churches all the time, playing bass. Um, I started connecting with the messages, becoming more interested in what is this thing of Christianity? What is faith? You know, a little. I wanted to know more. I was hungry for it. Um, and once I learned more, I decided to go all in and just commit myself. And obviously, I took that leap. I got baptized, and um, it's been a it's been a journey ever since. You know, as Christians, it's tough sometimes. We we walk with the Lord, and we're not perfect, and we do the best that we can to resemble to resemble Jesus. But we we fall short, and um, but we're forgiven for that ultimately. And it's been it's been a wonderful wonderful journey. Yeah, um, that's uh, that's actually you know a great testimony, and I know that there's a lot of people who can relate. You know that they haven't uh, you know come from the traditional uh, background of you know being Christian. They actually kind of come into it later in life, and you know definitely um, end up having you know more you know a uh, wonderful appreciation you know for for that faith in Jesus Christ, and and I think that's wonderful. You know because like if you, if you think about it, you know. It, um, Jesus didn't just minister to the Jews. He also ministered to the Gentiles. And those were the people who originally were not believers. And uh, many of them became believers. And uh, several gent- Gentiles actually ended up, you know, becoming some of his followers. So, you know, it's just, uh, that's a wonderful test testimony on, on, on that. And, um, and Anthony, um, how, um, how has your faith uh, played a role in the projects that you, that you work on? It's a good question. Um, I, I see it in my daily job, like even just going out into the world as a videographer, court reporter, um, just the attitude that I present on on a daily basis, uh, the excitement that I have to wake up every morning and I wake up every morning, no matter what I'm doing, whether it's going to my job, whether it's going to the church, whether I have a day off, I just wake up knowing that that day is a gift. And I think, with that kind of appreciation for the day, it sets me up for a positive day, if that makes sense. Um, with interactions I have with people, um, when I'm even when I'm on stage, I just I have a glow. I, I feel that I have a glow about me because um, I know that the Lord called me into that into that specific role, and I, I don't take that lightly. It's easy to take it lightly at times in life, um, but I, I see it trickling through in many different areas, and it just. It helps keep me grounded ultimately, and and especially like in um, working as a, as a musician, working as a videographer, and you're also in the workplace. Um, so you uh, come come across all sorts of people, you know, just like uh, several Christians. And as a Christian and a musician and a videographer, how has uh, your experience been working with those and who are in the church and those who are more a part of the secular world? <laughs> Good question. Um, it is interesting. I feel like as Christians, we find ourselves, in, yeah, we do at, interact a little differently at times when we're around our Christian friends, right? Um, and then when we get into the secular world, it's, 
you don't want to be intentional about thinking about, okay, now how am I supposed to act outside of that world? And it's finding a balance of walking in both of those lanes. But um, I just try to be relatable to anybody. I mean, whether whether they're walking with the Lord or they're way off the beaten path, I, I, I don't, I try not to judge anyone. I won't judge. I, I just, I am myself. And, and I think that that shows to people. Um, and I think that that's what God's also called us to, because sometimes as Christians, it's easy to stay in a bubble, right? You know what I mean? And, and we do need to go out there. And I think it's healthy for us to be in the real world, in the secular world, experience all kinds of walk of walks of life, whether it's the the homeless person that's on the streets walking to your job in the morning, you know, and being able to embrace all walks of life ultimately, because whether we're, whether we're believers or not believers, we're all God's children. And we, we are called to a high, a high, uh, a high calling and a high standard as Christians. So. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, that's, that's one of the, I think the, the important things that we need to do as Christians is we need to be, um, you know, more welcoming and more willing to to reach out into our community. You know, we um, we shouldn't be closed off, you know, from from people. I mean, yes, we're not supposed to be of the world, um, but we're we are supposed to um, help to spread the Lord's gospel. And, and you know, and that can uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that everyone has to be a pastor. It's um, you know, if you are a Christian, it's in your positive outlook when people ask you, you know, why, why do you have such a good positive outlook? And that's the perfect time to share your testimony with them. You know, it's, you know, it's my faith, you know, that plays a, a huge role in, um, you know, ev- everything that I do, you know, it's, it's how I interact with people, you know, it's, and it's how it's my entire outlook on life. So, you know, that's the perfect o- opportunity to share it with someone, you know, and who knows from that one testimony that you shared with a friend, or with a coworker, or a, you know, a bystander on the street, you know, they may come to know the Lord, or they may not. But you know, you interacting with them opened that door. It opened that possibility for them to learn more about Jesus. That's well said, and I completely agree with you. Thank you for sharing that. And Anthony, have you uh, have you written any any music since you since you started? Wow. Yeah, there, there was a season of my life um, from the age of 20 till about 25. I, I was a singer, a singer in a band and a guitar player. And I wrote uh, like indie, indie pop rock type music. So it took me all over. It took me to L.A., it took me to New York. Um, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Now, it was not it was not Christian uh, based music, um, but it was a lot of fun. I had a good time. Currently, I do not write. I can. I, I don't dabble in that area right now. The last time that I even was close to it um, was a, a worship band um, that I, well, we met at, on the worship team at church, and we decided to start a band called The Civics, like the car with an S, for those of you listening. Um, you can. There, we're still on Spotify, YouTube, you can find us. Um, but you could hear hints of faith-based lyrics in some of our songs, but... Um, I was I was a part of the writing process at, at a lower level in that band, but it was it was a lot of fun. So, so uh, what's your what's your favorite um, genres for for music and for movies? Oh, wow, good question. So this one catches everybody off guard because they they meet me and and they know that I play Christian music and, and they probably would think something a little bit more on that side of things. But I love uh, punk rock, pop punk rock music. Is what I grew up on. As I said earlier, the green days of the world influenced that, and it's evol- it evolved into Blink One Eighty Two, and then it's opened up a whole world of newer bands that are that are out today. Um, so punk rock would be my favorite genre. Um, even a little screamo uh, pop punk rock, uh, I, I do enjoy that. Favorite genre of movies would be definitely like sci-fi. Um, I love the sci-fi type movies. It just kind of put, they make you think. Uh, I, I love to do that. Just anything space. I'm all in. All in. Yeah. I also history. History. Any any war movies, especially uh, Revolutionary War, Civil War, I could talk and watch that stuff all day. So. 
Yeah, I, I agree. I definitely, I, I can relate. I, I love um, sci-fi movie, well, action and adventures, and sci-fi, especially Star Wars, is my, you know, biggest, um, my most favorite series. And of course, um, you know, history-based films as well, because I'm, I'm also a history buff as well. You know, especially ones that are about um, early colonial history. You know, uh, American Revolution. Uh, but I also like uh, Civil War era uh, type movies. So, um, yeah. Uh, but also, you know, if it's uh, if it's kind of based on a specific history in, in another part of the world, like if it's the Roman Empire or the Egyptian yeah. Empire, I love those types of movies as well. So, there's a there's a here's a plug out there. There's this show called Turn. Have you heard of it? It's on, it was on AMC. It's on Netflix. Yeah. Yeah, it, it was filmed in Richmond. Yeah, it's uh, fil- filmed in Richmond and parts of Williamsburg as well, I believe. It's my it's my favorite history show. Uh, for those of you watching, it's a great show. Check it out. Yeah, we have uh, we actually have a question in the comments section. My uh, my wonderful wife, uh, Regina, uh, she says, "Question for both the host and guest: If you mm. if you could make a movie or write a song." About a part of the Bible, which part would it be? That's a pretty awesome question. Um, what part of the Bible would it be? Danny, you want to go first on this one? <laughs> um, well, I know my wife should probably already know this part, but um, I, I've always been fascinated with revelations. And um, matter of fact, um, myself and my co-host, um, Gail, who... Um, we are actually working. Um, we're working together, and, and pretty soon we're actually going to be doing a uh, a project. We're not sure if it's going to be a web series or a film, um, but it's going to be centered around uh, revelations. Um, so, wow. yeah, yeah, that's it, it's so so much that you can you can cover in there, and honestly, you can have an entire film series on just revelations alone. I completely agree. Like, I think with my way of thinking. Uh, I would definitely go Revelations, but I would also, I love the journey of Matthew as well. I, I could, I could a hundred percent just see something coming out uh, from, from that book as well. And just his vision and perception of, of Jesus is just, it's incredible. Yeah. yeah. That was a great question. I appreciate you asking that. Yeah. That, that was my wife, Regina. Thank you, Regina. Um, Thanks, and Regina. Also- we appreciate it. If uh, anyone else who's uh, who's watching uh, the live stream, uh, we're joined today by uh, Anthony Vorndran, who is a musician and a videographer. And if you have any questions, please feel free to, to chime in the comment section. Um, we've just been uh, talking about our faith, and and also Anthony's been sharing his experiences of um, of being a musician and also being a videographer. And uh, Anthony, um, you've had the opportunity to work with many Christians. Um, in church and various projects, um, please tell the viewers how your experience has been working with them and the impact that they've made on your life. Yeah, uh, I, I have played at many churches, and starting with this, I I don't know if I would be where I am today in my faith if I hadn't started playing music. I'll be honest with you, I, I believe the Lord literally put that instrument in front of me and had this grander plan. And it wasn't to go play bars and play venues and, and write like rock and roll, you know. I think that his plan ultimately was to get me into the church so that I could become a believer and a follower. And, and that was his little way of just luring me in. Um, and I'm very appreciative of that. And I, I for, actually forever grateful for it. Um, but yeah, like when I started playing at the church I got baptized in, uh, Cincinnati, Ohio is called Rivers Crossing. That was where I met some of my closest Christian friends that I still to the day keep in touch with. Um, one of them was just in town on a tour actually last week and I got to see him and that was incredible. Um, it's changed, it has changed and shaped my life. Uh, it's as a younger, uh, adolescent, you know, we've made mistakes. I've made mistakes. I've fallen short and, I have to wonder if I would have still been on that path if I wouldn't have met these folks that have surrounding myself with people like minded has been extremely important to me. Um, kind of also not completely closing myself off like we talked about um, to the to the secular things and to the outside world, but 
keeping my close circle of people like-minded has been extremely helpful, and, and I know the church provided that to me. Uh, my most recent experience at uh, Fairfax Community Church has brought me some of my, my dearest friends, um, some of the best musicians that I've worked with. So when we, like the Bible calls us to excellence, right? Um, so we do every weekend call ourselves to excellence, and we work really hard for it, and it's disciplined me on stage, it's disciplined me off the stage, it's disciplined me in my personal life, my professional life, my relationships, so it's it's been great. Now moving uh moving forward, uh would you would you want to uh maybe join a Christian band, like make Christian music or or even um you know, as use your videography talents and um you know, work on a Christian film? I would be I would be open to that, yeah. I would. Um I'm not sure where where, where, uh, where the Lord's taking me at this point. Uh, and many doors can open. I also have an interest in acting, so you never know. Maybe maybe I could get in front of the camera. Maybe I could be behind the scenes doing the video. Um, but I think I really would like to start a Christian band and record Christian music and um, see what could happen there. So I'd like to go down that road again. Yeah, I, uh, I can relate. And, and uh, I, I especially want to... Um, go more into working on some Christian films. I've, I've worked on a couple. Um, I worked with uh, my co-host Gail Schultz on uh, Graciela's Gift. That's actually where I met her, and um, it's based on uh, Hispanic fable. Um, and it's a w- wonderful story, and that was the first time I worked with Gail. And um, I've also worked uh, more recently, again, with, with Gail, but Gail was actually one of the uh, – casting directors um and i believe one of the producers um there was a film it's uh coming up it's it's more kind of based on like Cain and abel but it's really more yeah. of um it's more of kind of like uh, a lot of history of a particular cr- a christian it's based on her life so i can't go into the details um you know because that would spoil the film but it's a uh, it's a wonderful, yeah. wonderful film um, I, I think it's, it's become a, coming out within the next, the next few years, at least. Wow. Yes. Yeah, so, wow. Um, I've at least worked on, uh, two Christian films and I absolutely would love to have the opportunity to work on more. Um, so it's just a matter of what, what God has in store for me. And I certainly want to move from that, but, um, I also, uh, really want to use my talents, um, you know, for the Lord to do, uh, documentary production. You know, and actually go out there into the community and, um, you know, especially into, um, you know, maybe even, you know, being a documentarian, um, you know, on a mission trip. Because I've actually never done a mission trip. And I, I think oh, wow. I always thought that that would, that would be really cool to do. Same. I've never done one and I would love to. Yeah. That's great, Danny. So uh, what's next for you? As far as just life in general or? Yeah, just or uh, the- like your... Um, you mu- musician career and, and um, as a videographer? Um... That's a good question. Um, yeah, let's let's dive into this. So I had, I had been contemplating for quite a few years if I wanted to go all in with the music and maybe take a move to um, Nashville or L.A. And um, I still somewhat feel that I could be called to that, but I also like stability in my life, and I know that with that, road is going to be in complete opposite of everything that I want. Um, so I do feel that the Lord will provide these loves that I have, no matter where I am, whether I'm living in Northern Virginia, Richmond, who knows? Um, I, I could be anywhere, and uh, the Lord's going to open doors. He's going to, there's churches, there's like-minded musicians out there. I, I feel that I can always be involved in projects, but um, right now, I'm, I think I'm, I'm happy where I am right now. Um, just performing at the church, uh, doing video work during the week. Uh, it's very exciting stuff, but I, I think I would like to get like another project going at some point, whether it's, I have a passion for video and photography uh, that I want to take to another level. Um, and right now I haven't really been chasing that as much as I would like to. So I'd say something along those lines is definitely in the works. I feel it right now. So, yeah, that's, that's great. Yeah. And it's, uh, you know, just definitely trusting in God and just uh, seeing where where He's going to lead you. I mean, I I don't I don't know where I would be if I uh, you know like if God didn't um, you know bl- 
blessed me with the many things that he has. You know, I, I certainly would not be the man that I am today without it. And um, and I think that's that's really important is just to you know, it, just kind of sit back and just kind of trust him. I mean, of course, you know, he's not going to do um, all of the work for you. You have to actually put the effort in. Like if you want to go into filmmaking, you know, go out there and make a short film or, you know, and then work with uh, others in the community. Or if you want to be a musician, you know, just uh, see if you uh, if you are a Christian, um, you know, like we are, you can uh, do do like Anthony did and see if you can join, um, you know, join the uh, the worship band for your local church. You know, or they might need some, uh, you know, volunteer singers. You know, whatever it may be. Absolutely. Yeah, and just uh, just kind of put that foot forward and just trust in God. And you know, if if He has, uh, you know, because He. There's honestly, there is nothing impossible without God in your life. Preach it, Danny. <laughs> that, that's exactly right. Yeah, because uh, and especially like if you uh, if you think of of the uh, Proverbs three five, you know, trust trust in the Lord with all your heart and lead not unto your own understanding, you know, and He will direct your path. So, you know, that's that's really all we need to do is just you know put our best foot forward and just just trust in God that. Uh, you know, whatever, whatever will happen, uh, whatever is supposed to happen will happen. And, um, you know, with, with God, uh, with God, all things are possible, you know, that's, that's exactly it. And, uh, I was reading an article recently. Um, there was a gentleman who plays professionally for the church, the church scene. And, uh, there was somebody in the music industry just kind of asking him like, Hey, do you, do you feel that you have to be in Nashville, LA or New York to really do this? And, and he's like, if you're working hard and you're putting God in everything that you do first, he's like, the doors will open for you. He goes, it doesn't necessarily matter where you are. Sure. At the end of the day, it may not hurt to be in those areas, but they're also oversaturated in those areas with millions of people wanting to do what you want to do. But the moral of the story is just keeping God centered, keeping God first and working hard like you said i think a lot of people miss that point like oh well god's gonna just do it for me it's since i'm a believer i don't i don't have to put in like you know what i don't need to rehearse my bass during the week because when i go on stage this weekend the notes are going to magically play like it doesn't work like that and that was a great point that you brought up so yeah yeah it's uh that's stuff uh definitely one um one passage that i try to live by and also uh, yeah uh, Philippians four thirteen with uh, with God all things are possible. So you know he's, those are great. Those are yeah. two great. Absolutely, Joshua one nine is definitely uh, the one that I hold near and dear. Actually, I wear it on my my chest every day. So do not be or uh, be strong, courageous. Do not be terrified. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua one nine. That is a daily thing for me. Yeah. So. Sorry, I, I I realized that I actually misquoted uh, Philippians four thirteen. It's actually I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So essentially, it's very a very um, kind of along the same lines. But that, that's exactly. actually my my favorite Bible passage. That's great. That's a great one. Yeah. So, um, what would you say to encourage um, other believers, um, you know, who want to become a musician? Or they want to become a videographer, and you know what? Oh, you know any part of you know media and entertainment. What, what would you say to try to encourage them? Encourage them? Yeah, I think a lot of times for people, um, musicians especially, singers, um, and it can also relate to people um, behind the scenes as well. We're like, at, for example, at my church, uh, our leadership does a great job of everybody is one, right? We're all the worship team, whether you're running the camera, whether you're changing the slideshow for lyrics, whether you're playing the drums or singing, we're all one team. And um, I would encourage you to just take a leap of faith and do something that you feel called to uh, do something that you're passionate about. Don't be afraid. It's easy. It's easy to be afraid, especially when when you're new at a church or you're new to a community of people, you know, maybe you're nervous to get involved in meeting those new people, fear of rejection, fear of failure. And um, I have fallen many, many, many times as a musician uh, over my long journey of being a musician, um, auditioning, not making auditions, or um, 
having, you know, other musicians judging, you know, based off of your skill level. Uh, but what I did to get to where I am today is I just did exactly that. I put myself in situations that were uncomfortable. I went and played with musicians way better than me. That way that I would adapt and learn from them. Um, just don't be afraid to put yourself out there. It's You don't want to have the regret of not doing it. It's also never too late to get started. So um, use your local resources. I mean, like I said, if you're if you're at a church, it's as simple as literally walking up to the person on the stage. That's what I do. Hey, how do I audition? What do I what do I have to do to get connected? If you're interested in video or media, go up to the production teams at your churches. Um, it's helpful. Read read articles. You know, uh, I don't have any that I right off the top of my head that I could um, quote, but um, do your research online. Find communities and groups of people that may be able to help answer some questions. Shadow. Shadow for a weekend if you think you're interested. Um, that way you're not fully committing yourself to anything. So, yeah, yeah, I agree. Don't for, be afraid, basically. Yeah, yeah. For those who wanna who wanna become filmmakers, I mean, the be- the best way to do is like just kind of look. You know, you can look on. Uh, sometimes you might see some job posts, not job posts, but they're really more like classified ads out there that they're kind of. They're, they want some crew members to kind of help them with an upcoming film, and that's uh, that's a great way to do it. You know, you can kind of get out there and uh, with others in your community and uh, and make a film. A uh, forty eight hour film project is is a, another o- opportunity. A um, hundred and sixty eight film project, which is actually more of kind of like a Christian version of a forty eight hour film project, and uh, oh, it's wonderful. Uh, John David Ware, who's who's uh, the the founder of it, and it's actually it's very similar to forty eight hour like with forty eight hour film project. You have forty eight hours to create uh, an entire film, you know, from uh, pre production to post production. Uh, but with one one sixty eight film project, it's uh, you have one hundred and sixty eight hours to make a film, so you have a lot more time. And um, they actually give you a passage in the Bible um, that you base your film off of. So it has to be um, a redemptive film and has to be based on a, a passage in Scripture. So that's that's just one example of what you could do is get out there. And, and also, like, just get out there and just, you know, shoot some video. You know, And uh, if that's what you want to do, if you want to be a videographer, you can just take out take out your, your phone out of your pocket. Your, uh, you know, everybody has a smartphone these days. And, uh, well, not everyone there, but most people have a smartphone these days. And, you know, you can you can shoot video on that and just uh, move up from there. So, uh, oh, we have another question in the chat room. Uh, my, my wife, uh, Regina, she says, another question for both Danny and Anthony. Who's your favorite figure in the Bible? Wow, good question. I I gotta think on that one. That's uh that's an excellent question. I'm gonna just I'm gonna let Danny go first. <laughs> uh, man, that's uh, it's a t- it's a good question. It's there's just great so question. many great figures. I mean, I um, Moses especially. I mean, um, uh, Ab- Abraham. You know, peace. Um. I mean, other other than Jesus, I mean, uh, that's a, I think that's, that's a that's an automatic one for most Christians. But um, yeah, yeah, but Moses, I lo- I love Moses yeah. as well. Yeah. I think uh, Paul the Apostle, because um, you know, he came into it, he he actually persecuted Christians. You know, he he was a Pharisee and he persecuted Christians, and then um, you know, because he ended up persecuting so many and doing so many atrocities towards Christians, towards uh, Jesus' followers, uh, God condemned him to be blind. And then um, then he actually gave him a... Uh, then he actually suffered in being blind, and then God gave him a chance to actually see again. And the first thing that Paul saw uh, was, uh, was Jesus himself. You know, at the time when he was a Pharisee, he was known by Saul, but he changed his name to Paul... Um, yeah. You know, when he became a believer in uh, in Jesus Christ and actually became um, one of the most important missionaries in the Bible. You know, he actually he was the one that actually went, uh, you know, he went to Europe. You know, he went to Rome and yep. uh, uh, to to the Gentiles and directly <laughs> to them. And like, essentially he was the first missionary. 
Uh, I mean, other than Jesus himself, he was he was the first missionary, a a, a follower of Christ. And, uh, you you know, just seeing that coming from being a terrible person and completely turning his life around to Jesus and just, you know, just trying to be, uh, you know, a good example for him. You know, Matthew's that way as well. You know, he started off as a tax collector. And, yes, and all these Pharisees and all the uh, the people around there, like Jesus, uh, like how could you, how could you have this man, you know, w- work, w- uh, you know, be with you? And all these uh, Pharisee, uh, all the priests were saying that, you know, you know, Lord bless me for I'm not like a tax collector. You know, he, they're basically being all high and mighty. Where uh, Matthew, you know, Jesus told him that, you know, a prayer that he made that know lord be merciful of me for i'm a sinner you know that that's the thing is that he admitted what he did and and just completely turned his life around just like paul did so how about you anthony wow wow yeah i i mean honestly um mine will not probably be as lengthy uh, <laughs> but sorry, i, I no 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 you don't have to be sorry um i just have to like you know follow that which is gonna be hard <laughs> to do no um for me you know, the, the, as simple as this is, okay, I love Moses because how he – and got, like Jesus ended up inspiring and motivating someone who was completely insecure to do his work and just him baptizing people and like being able to get to that point through the confidence of Jesus is just – it's wonderful to me. I, I, don't, I love that so much. I think about it all the time. Every time I see baptisms on stage, I mm-hmm. – we had baptism weekend uh, two weekends ago, and in my mind, just that's where it goes. Like I think about that, that exact moment. So yeah. So great uh, question. Yeah, yeah. One, uh, Regina that, throwing out throwing out the good <laughs> ones. She's getting deep. That's yeah. good. This is good. That, that's good. And yeah, and um, I, you know, I, I I I think that you know God truly has blessed blessed us all. You know, and just kind of think of. Um, you know, the, the things in our life that could go worse, you know, they're not worse because God has blessed us, you know, so. absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Danny. Yeah. So, um, uh, to those who are watching, um, Anthony and I have actually, um, we've worked together, um, for a court reporting firm, um, as, uh, videographers and, uh, uh digital court reporters. Um, it's, it's based out of DC area and, uh, we've known each other for, what is it? Almost two years now, Anthony. Yeah, that's, that's about it. Yeah. Two years. Yeah. And it's, uh, we've had a really good, uh, good friendship, uh, you know, good mutual respect for each other. And, uh, you know, Anthony has actually been a good, um, you know, he, he's really has, uh, helped, helped to be a good, uh, motivator, you know, in, in the workplace, you know, cause you know, Thanks. Cause sometimes you have, you know, you have your bad days, you know, it happens. And, um, uh, he's, he, he's been a, he's been a good, um, a coworker to work with. So. Thank you for saying that. I, and I, the same to you, man. I greatly appreciate it. Yeah. So, uh, uh, might be the possibility of you coming down to coming down to Richmond. So uh, that, I'll that tell you what, be, that would be great if, uh, if God could open up that door for you. I'm praying about it. So I love Richmond. I'll be like I said, I'll be coming down there uh, Memorial Day weekend to just hang out a little bit and explore. So we'll have to talk offline about that. You can tell yeah. me where I need to go. So yeah, it is a great area. Um, I'm I'm based out of Richmond, Virginia, and um, it's 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 wonderful. You know, uh, so much. Uh, you it, you still have that kind of city um, atmosphere, um, but um, it's it's not like a big city. So you still have, you know, that, um, that small town kind of feel to it. Um, so it has a lot of charm and especially a lot of history, you know, a lot of, um, early colonial history and, um, more specifically civil war history. So it's just, you know, and that's part of the culture, you know, it's just, yeah. uh, it has, a uh, has a charm to its own, but, uh, um, I, you know, I, I was actually, uh, my wife and I, um, you know, we moved to Richmond because of my, uh, you know, where I currently work. And, you know, if God leads us to another location, you know, we're certainly trusting in him and uh, just kind of see what he has in store for us. So give it. Yeah. Just let him, let him drive and we'll take a ride. See what happens. Yeah. So uh, Anthony, thank you again for, uh, for joining us today. Really appreciate it. Hey, I, I'd, I'd love to come on again. Uh, we'll have to maybe make arrangements for that. Thank you for taking the time. Um, 
anybody that, uh, that's out there watching, thank you so much for tuning in today. Really appreciate that. So if uh, anybody who wants to follow Anthony, um, uh, he is on Instagram. Uh, uh, Anthony, your, uh, your Instagram handle, it's uh, Vorndran A, is that correct? Yep. You, you want to spell that out or do you want me to? Yeah, it's V. Uh, those who are listening to the audio recording, that is V as in Victor, O R N D as in David, R A N A. If you want to follow uh, Anthony on Instagram, that is his uh, Instagram handle. So, That's it. Shoot me a follow. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, thank you again uh, for, for those who are watching. Um, uh, this has uh, been been a wonderful show, and uh, we certainly um, are excited to see what God has in store for us. And for those who want to watch any uh, any previous episodes, uh, we're actually going to put all of our recordings um, on our Facebook page. It's facebook.com forward slash faith media show. Uh, we are also going to put it on our website. The website is coming soon. That's uh, faithmediashow.com. Uh, we also have... Um, we are on Twitter and Instagram, and our Twitter handle is at Faith Media Show, um, and we're we're also on YouTube as well. It's uh, YouTube.com forward slash Faith Media Show. Uh, thank you very much for joining us, and uh, we certainly look forward to to seeing you all again. God bless you. Have a good Sunday.